The people of China normally regard dragon and tiger as superior animals and regard President Xi as a dragon, the most prestigious creature to the Chinese. For Donald Trump in the Chinese eyes, they are regarding him as a dog and chicken, and the world and even some Trump supporters think it's nothing or it's even funny. Like comparing this one to this one. Although this is cuter. <laughs> Are we saying that China are a lot superior than the U.S. right now? It's enough funny for Chinese to build these two animals about Trump man, especially in China. That's having China culture. If you're Trump supporters like me, it's an insult in Asia instead. It could be fine in the U.S. but not in China. In the political implication, it's something like domination or showing off power. Yes, tests on the Chinese leader like equating Wang Yi or President Xi as a chicken or a dog. I could bet with you that there will be a Chinese uproar against all Americans on the street in China immediately. Yeah, coming is power. They are very powerful now. Because using these two animals to equate a person is a total insult according to Chinese customs. You see, when Chinese dealing with any matter, they are not as direct as the Americans are. Like inviting you to their home doesn't mean they want you to go, cause it's just their polite gesture. In their mind, they don't want you to disturb their homes even though they invite you. Yo. Yeah. When come for common greetings, a Chinese will say, have you eaten yet? Rather than saying, how are you? Everything that a Chinese say has hidden meanings and many Westerners always interpret differently. Therefore, if a Chinese woman says she loves you, guys, think twice. What are the women up to for your money? What I mean. Oh, really about you? When a Chinese say a person is a dog or a chicken, it's not simply about dog and chicken thing. It's about inferring them as slaves or horse respectively, and such practice has been passed down since many thousand years ago in China. It's an insult to infer someone as a dog or a chicken. Some people may regard it funny, but for the Chinese, it's a serious offense when infer them as these animals in China. Equating a person to a dog is insulting in Chinese because it implies a person a beast that is incapable of thinking that only receives order from a master instead of being a man's best friend. Which many Americans have that kind of thoughts. Yeah, man's best friend. But to Chinese, no. And they even eat them. Chinese insults tend to incorporate animals quite often, including animals like pigs and snakes, and they often use the word dog to equate someone as a slave. But for the English, it could just like referring an immoral woman. For chicken, the Chinese see as a whore, but for the English, and most, a coward person. Think about it, Americans, or other people that is involved before the war come or whatever, why are the Chinese using dogs and chickens to portray Trump? The relationship between the US and China is always a problem even there is no Trump cause both are fighting to be a global leader and the Chinese are aggressive to be the global champion or to be a raging dragon or a fearless tiger. Yeah, if you watch Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon you know that how much they have been idolizing these creatures. Instead of seeing Trump as a dragon or a tiger, they are insinuating him as a slave dog, a chicken hawk. China is trying to beat US as a global leader, backed up by their Chinese saying of belief, San Burong Erhu. One mountain cannot contain two tigers, and one have to go in this world. Either US or China. Last point for Americans. The people that Chinese hate most are not only the Japanese, but also the Americans. I wish Trump the best in success. Of course, I'm a Trump supporter, you know? Always.